Hello everyone. So recently I received uh, this question on the community and this question is actually quite interesting because uh, people want to use the REST API and they want to do something in bulk and uh, this is of course one advantage of using REST API. You can do a lot of wonderful things with Jira by writing your own script. It could be a script, it could be your own favorite programming language or maybe a simple curl command. And uh, this question is about uh, deleting work logs in bulk. Now in Jira, of course, we have the option to log time. And when you log time in Jira, you can of course, uh, not only do it from the user interface, but you can also do it from your um, shell script, your, your, your own code, any script that you may have written. So you can do it programmatically. Now, let me show you something. So if, if I look at this particular issue, where, uh, I mean, this is this issue, this, this issue is called as, uh, uh, I mean, the issue key is ST26. And uh, I'm basically looking for all the issues where uh, the time spent is, um, is not empty. So basically, there is some work log. And if you look here, in this particular issue, if I show you the work log tab, so we do have some work log entries. So you know, someone has logged 20 minutes, or two minutes, 20 minutes, and so on. Let me just, you know, just refresh it because I did something with this work log. And uh, what we can do is, of course, we can not only retrieve this list of a work log, but we can also, we can also log time. Now, let me show you something very quickly. And uh, I have been doing it. And by the way, I've made videos on log on work log in the past. So if you look at uh, the same, uh, the, the same issue, or if you want to re retrieve the issue, uh, issues work log, you can actually use a shell script. I'll show you the uh, script very quickly. It is nothing but a curl command. So if I do this uh, get work log dot sh, which is of course my shell script. And if I pass in my issue key, which is in this case, st26, I can see here that okay, it is now giving me all the um, all the uh, work logs nicely formatted by comma. And uh, I can also do something for uh, uh, I mean, if, if, if I want to do something for uh, any, any other issue, I can just pass in the issue key. So this is fine. But uh, l let me also add one more log so that we can see how it looks like. So I'll, I'll log my work. And let, let us log two minutes. And uh, I will save it. So if I go back to the same list, and if I run this, I can see this uh, list, uh, it, ha it has now this uh, new item in the in the in the output. Now this is of course, uh, formatted nicely, but the actual uh, script, let me show you the actual uh, script here very quickly so that you can also see how it works. So this is basically nothing but uh, a simple curl command. And the curl command is uh, basically doing this. Uh, let me just increase the size for you. So basically, what we are doing here is we are making a curl command and we are simply retrieving this, uh, this work log. Now good thing about Jira is uh, the, the same endpoint can be used to delete a work log. So let, let us first do something. Let us just uh, type in the same thing, you know, the same command, but of course, instead of issue key, which is of course, a variable, I'll type in here, st-26. And if I make this rest call, it will, okay, so I need to just double check. Come on, I, th I think I'm making a mistake somewhere. Oh, yes, I'm missing the, this double quotes. All right, so it is of course giving us the JSON back. And if I want, I can uh, also nicely format it using JQ. So this is looking good. And uh, what we want to do, we want to basically delete the work log. And for deleting the work log, I will be using the same thing exactly the same command, more or less, but I need the work log ID. So if I retrieve the work log ID, which is 101, uh, 10119, uh, I can do that, I can basically use the same command, same curl command. And if, because if, if you're trying to delete something using curl, you have to use hyphen capital X. And then instead of using get, you're doing delete. And uh, what we need to do now is uh, we simply need to pass in the work log ID here. So what was the work log ID? I forgot. And uh, let me just uh, let me just 
do something. I'm sure it has not really, not really deleted anything because we didn't really pass the <laughs> ID. So let me just uh, copy this 10119. Okay, 10119. I'll try to remember now. 10119. 10119. Okay. So we are basically passing this as T. Um, 26 hi, hi, slash work log slash work log ID and if I now do this and if I take a look at the work log so it has now removed the work log and you can of course validate this if you go back to the issue so right now we can see here that we have logged two minutes and if I refresh this it must delete it it must have deleted it because uh, we don't really want uh, this work log to appear so let us take a look at this very quickly work log okay this is interesting right and by the way uh, this is something that you can always do to um, to basically uh, do something in bulk and by the way you can see this in the history so history will preserve this for you because uh, you may want to <laughs> because you may want to look at what happened to your work logs but good thing is that you can do the deletions as well using uh, REST API. And that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.